Hello, good morning. This, um, this morning's lesson is about averages and we're going to use the, the five furry friends in front of you to teach you about averages. And there's four averages that we're going to learn about mean, mode, median and range and we're going to demonstrate that using these five and using marbles. So I want you to imagine then that each of these five friends has been given a pot of marbles. In the first one we've got five marbles. In the second one there is only one marble. In the third one there are two marbles. In the fourth one again there are five marbles and in the end one there are seven marbles. So the number of marbles, number of marbles that they've each got, five, one, two, five, and seven. So the first, um, the first average that we can easily work out is what's known as the range. Now the range is very simply the difference between the highest and the lowest. So in this instance, the highest is seven, the lowest is one. The difference there is 7 minus 1 equals 6. So the range is 6. Now the second um, average that we could look at would be the mode. Now the mode is the one that happens the most often. Can you see what they've done there? Mode, most. So the one that happens the most often, all we need to do is count how many times they, ha they happen. So this one was 7. There's only one that's got 7 in this one that's got five, well there's another one with five as well, so there's two that have got five, this one's got two, it's the only one with two in, and this one's got one, it's the only one with one in. So the mode then, the one that happens the most often, these two because they've both got five in, so the mode is five. The next average we're going to look at is the median. Now the median is the one that's in the middle, so like mid, mid, med, mid, See what they've done there? So in order to do that, what we first need to do is write them in order. Okay, we need to put these in order going from lowest up to highest. So the lowest then is number one. So if we put that, they get angry if the marbles go missing. One, and then if we put the one with two next, and then seven, well that's going to be the most, we put that on the end so we've got one, two, five, five, seven one, two, five, five, seven, so they're in order the one that's in the middle then, if we've got five the middle one's going to be the third one along, so the one that's in the middle then has got five marbles in so in this instance the median was five so we've done the range, we've done the mode, and we've done the median. The next one then is the mean. Now the mean, some people see it as the true average. And what it's really saying is, well, if I'm going to distribute these guys some marbles, how many could they roughly expect? And it's strange that it's called the mean, because what it's really asking is, if I had these marbles and I gave them out fairly, how many would each have? And the way in which you work it out, you count how many of all of the different things you've got, and then you divide it by the number of different groups. Okay, so it's the sum of all of the numbers divided by how many there are. So what we need to do then is we need to do some adding. We've got 1, add 2, add 5 add 5, add 7. So 1 add 2, add 5, add 5, add 7 and then we need to divide that by how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that will work out then at 20 divided by 5 which as you all know your times table is very simply 4. Interestingly with the mean if you change all of the numbers 
by the same amount, then the mean also changes by the same amount. So to give you an example of that, if I were to add more, more marbles into these pots, if I was to put two marbles into each pot, face the camera please, if you were to put two marbles into each pot, my guess is that the mean would also change by two, it would go up by two. So I'm guessing that before the mean was four, I reckon now it's going to be six. So let's just work it out again then. So the mean is the sum of all of them, add them all up, and then divide it by how many there are. So we've got three, add four, add seven, add seven, add nine, gives us 30. And 30 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals 6. So yes, the mean has gone up by 2.